Oh hey, here we are on uh, All Season Adventures again. This time we're doing some, uh, what's it, money in the bank predictions? Money on the roof. Money on the roof, as uh, Simon Miller likes to call it. So uh, this time Miss All Season and I have our predictions written down. Where most people do predictions like to do it in their house, but we like to do it more camping style. We didn't camp last night, but if you want to see some camping videos, you know there's a whole lot more on my channel. So anyhow, without further ado, uh, Let's get this started. Uh, who's gonna fire it off, you or me? Go for it. Okay, first match we got on the card, uh, as far as we know, could be on the card. Uh, well, could be the first match. New Day versus Miz and John Morrison versus Forgotten Sons versus uh, Lucha House Party. Well, Luchas, uh, they're amazing, but we all know that they're not gonna win, unfortunately. They can't and, see. Yeah, they can't see. With their mask, they're always uh, rolling blind, so I, I, I highly doubt it'll be them. New Day, I wouldn't be surprised if they win because they're champions and just won the belt. But anyhow, I'm going for the Forgotten Sons. They're my best right now and it'll be a big surprise if they win the belt. So, what's your prediction for this one? No, I think you're you're wrong. They just came in. Um, they're brand new. They've only had two matches um, and they didn't even get the pinfall last night. So, I'm sticking with the New Day who is the tag team champions right now. There's no point of putting the belt on them to take it away in like two weeks. So my pick is New Day. Next one. Uh, the next one uh, is, we're thinking in order, would be the SmackDown Women's Championship between Bailey and nobody's meaner than Tamina. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to choose Bailey. Um, Tamina, yeah, this is her one shot at trying to win a belt, but she can't do promos. Um, she's just there as a jobber, sorry Tamina, but you know it's kind of true. Um, so my pick is going to be Bailey, but with some interference with Sasha because they're going to start keeping, going to build that feud a little little more. At some point we'll have the Bailey-Sasha Banks. Uh, I, I figured that Sasha was going to enter the Money in the Bank, win the Money in the Bank, and then somehow, some point while in Bailey's corner, cash it in and beat her that way. but. Apparently that's not going to happen now, but anyhow, uh, they're going to keep that feud going, so uh, Bailey to retain the belt. Hey, next match, uh, we just uh, pretty much, the, if you go on WWE.com, we just, their match card, we pretty much flipped it around, and that's the order we went. So, uh, next match on there, Drew vs. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, you're amazing, great talent, but Drew, right now, you're on top, and they're going to keep him on top for a little while. Uh, at least till there's fans. Like right now, Drew's doing amazing. He, he's awesome, and he will retain the belt. Yeah, I have to agree with you on that one. Um, they didn't give it to Drew and push him as hard as they can just to take it off him when he really hasn't fought anybody besides the Big Show. And I think <laughs> that that's it. Maybe maybe Seth Rollins' friend Buddy Murphy, oh, yeah. his buddy Murphy. Um, but yeah, Seth is amazing as he is. And with the whole Monday Night Messiah thing, he's a bad guy. He can still push. Uh, he'll be in the the championship pitcher yet again, but I think it's safe to say that Drew's going to retain. Big time. And next one. So the next one is the Universal Championship, uh, which is the SmackDown um, guy's belt. And it is uh, with Braun... Strowman, get these hands, the monster, yeah. versus Bray Wyatt. They keep saying Bray Wyatt and not the Fiend, so we're gonna not see Bray Wyatt's other personality. Um, so my pick is going to be uh, Braun Strowman to retain. This is his first big, big championship. Um, he's only had it, you know, a few weeks in. I think he uh, he's doing good with it so far, and I think he's gonna retain. And they're gonna do something else with him. Same, but I want to see. <laughs> but uh, he's been doing good promos. <laughs> same with uh, like that. Uh, if it was uh, against the Fiend, then I'd go with the Fiend. But since it's just a uh, regular plain old Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt, it's the way they can have Bray Wyatt lose somewhat fairly, I guess. So uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Ron Strowman on this one as well. Hey, so next match we got uh, women's and well, they're gonna be going at the same time. Women and men's Money in the Bank matches. So. There's going to be some cahoots, uh, shenanigans. Well, there'll definitely be some shenanigans in that one. But uh, with the women's, uh, we got uh, Carmella versus Shayna Baszler versus Nia Jax versus Asuka versus Dana versus Lacey. Uh, 
I gotta go uh, this one I gotta go with Aska just because like she's been she's been kind of saving uh, wrestling during this pandemic for the women's league she's hilarious on the you can't understand what she said but she's still hilarious on the mic you can tell she's having a blast of the time so uh, I think it'd be kind of, they probably won't but I think it'll be really nice of them to give Aska that money in the bank and I think she'll be hilarious with that that briefcase rolling around doing some hilarious promo so I'm going with Asuka probably won't happen but I'm still rooting for Asuka in this one I'm thinking that Nia Jax is going to um, get it she just came back um, she's been dominant they've been showing her as, as very dominant um, I just think that maybe it's her time to get another push um, again and uh, I don't think they're going to put it on, on Shayna uh, just because they have to do something else with, with her. Um, I have a feeling that Shayna might grab the men's briefcase for some reason, you know, and fight the men and go what TNA is doing with Tessa Blanchard. But yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with Naya for this one. I feel it's Shayna. Yeah, yeah. There is, she's my number two pick because this way I feel they don't need to bring her into a Becky Lynch title match right away. They can kind of have her holding that belt and teasing Becky that at some point she'll win it. But uh, I'm still sticking with Asuka for now. We'll leave us off with the men's. The men's money on the roof, like uh, Mr. All Season has said. Uh, it's happening at the same uh, time as... Pull that from Simon Miller. <laughs> 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 the money on the roof. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, he didn't let me finish. No, he apologized. <laughs> Um, no, the, the men's money on the roof is happening at the, the same time um, as the ladies. They're starting in the lobby, going up 10 stories. There's supposed to be a ring there. The briefcases are going to be held by a crane. Um, so we have Otis um, versus Aleister Black versus Daniel Bryan versus Rey Mysterio uh, versus AJ Styles and versus the King Baron Corbin. Um, I have a, a favorite in this. I like Otis, but I don't think Otis is going to win. It's too soon. It's too soon for him, and he's still tied up with the Mandy, Sonya. Yeah, there, there's there's something going on with him. But I think it's going to be Daniel Bryan winning the briefcase. They need something big again for him. He's always good on the mic, um, and I think he would uh, do do well with, with a good push again with this briefcase. Not gonna lie, I'd be happy if with Brian, no complaints at all. And uh, Alistair Black, it'd be kind of cool to see him get a run with the uh, Money in the Bank too. But uh, in history, uh, I'm sure any Wrath and fan can agree, heels always make the best Money in the Bank carriers. So uh, that pretty much well. AJ Styles, uh, what I uh, I was thinking about this last week, but uh, Simon Miller, he said, and I, I kind of hoped that they throw him off the roof. So, not to kill him literally, but because of uh, all this editing they can do now, I hope they chuck him off the roof and we have him show up on Monday. Because, uh, yeah, last Monday he showed up and then, yeah, I, I got buried, buried alive in uh, WrestleMania. Who cares? No big deal. I want to see him get tossed off the roof and show up at wrestling. Yeah, so I got thrown off the roof. Who cares? Whatever. Just keep going. He might turn into our next Super Dave on Corner <laughs> Wrestling. You never know. But anyhow, to my prediction, that I said a heel. I'm going with Baron Corbin. Nobody loves Baron Corbin. I hate Baron Corbin, but what's gonna happen? They are gonna kick the holy shit out of him at the beginning where he can't move at all pretty much. He's gonna be stuck in the bottom floor, first floor. Well, everyone, they're all fighting up and down all the floors. And then a half hour later, you're gonna see Baron Corbin roll out of this, uh, this bunch of debris over him. He's gonna jump into the elevator. He's gonna arrive roughly at the same time as the rest. And then somehow he's gonna sneak and grab that Money in the Bank briefcase. And he will cash that in before the year is done. And he will be the champion by the end of this year. May not be a long reign, but that's my prediction. So I don't <laughs> think uh, they've pushed him so much. And like, yeah, he's he's a good heel, oh, but. He's gonna be awesome. Uh, Promos is what he Enough <laughs> of the Corbin already. Everyone's gonna hate him. They already do. <laughs> they didn't hate him. That's the more. sad part. So, anyhow, uh, so that wraps it up. Uh, that's our uh, money on the roof predictions, or money in the bank, as it's properly called. But, anyhow, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, like that, I'm, I'm reaching out here, trying to grab some new fans to join with All Season Adventures, uh, some wrestling fans. If yeah, any wrestling fans out there love some camping stuff, watch my uh, Sunday morning videos, you'll see me camping. And if you guys love some uh, build stuff, 
on Thursdays, I'm working on my Jurassic Park Jeep build. So anyhow, hope you like. So uh, if you enjoyed, smash that like button, uh, share, subscribe. Remember to live, everybody. Until next time, cheers.